Hello, and this is another UFE tutorial. In this case, we're gonna make a sure you can move an anti air, a dragon punch, uh, in this uh, mini series about basic special moves for our characters. Alright, so let's work with our same character. In this case, here it's a folder, and let's create a new move. Right click, create UFE move file. Here it is. And it's gonna be called Alice Dragon Punch 1. One. I'm gonna copy it. And here in the move editor, let's just put the same name. Alright. And let's go to the basics. Animation. In this case, the move is called Alice Shoryuken. The prefab and let's turn on the hitbox settings. Alright, so in her move, she does this and then she falls with her umbrella. It's kind of cute. So, first, what we need to do is create the active. In the active frame, this is basically as any other special move, so I'm gonna do this on fast forward, it's not too hard. Alright, so this is the basic setup for the move, basically she's in this pose, then this is the hit area, and then she kind of falls, right? Uh, one thing I put here in special is that the move is a launcher, not a mid or a low, it's a launcher, so the animation will call the hit air in the opponent. And also here in force options, it's gonna push the opponent a little bit forward, but more upwards, alright? It's gonna launch it a little bit in the air like a normal dragon punch. Here's the block area, and now of course the player conditions. We can make this while standing. And the input, in this case, will be forward, down, forward forward, down, forward, a dragon punch, and in this case let's use our trunk punch button, in this case, in my case, it's button 2. Mm -hmm. Cinematic options, particle effects, sound effects, and now here's the important thing, self-applied forces. We want the move to launch here in the air at a certain point, in this case, this point is where he is fully stretched, let's say here, around frame 10, so here in self applied forces, let's put a new applied force in frame 10, and she's gonna move a bit forward and upwards, let's say 45. Then, let's leave it here without resetting, slow motion, armor, no, nothing else. High definitions, yes, an anti air. And now this special thing, let's go to our character, Alice, and let's add it to the move set. And this dragon punch. And there it is. But she weighs, she goes too far away. So let's, in the move, let's say even 25. Looks better. But now you see that she 
keeps uh, floating a little bit after the move so what we need to do is here is still in our move file or the general and here you can see there are a, a, an interesting behavior options and we need to check this cancel move on landing it's especially, it's especially useful also when doing moves in the air so when you touch the ground the move cancels so it's more like a dragon punch now she touched the ground and it cancels hmm, I, sh I think she needs to punch the opponent a bit more so let's in active frames add a little less forward a little more upwards for the opponent if we're fast enough we can even combo it that's basically how you do a sure you can move It's quite easy. The very same principle can be applied to a uh, move like a hurricane kick or a tatsumaki senpukiaku. For example, here this animation. So let's speed this up a little bit. I've been working a bit on this character, so now it has a little animation. There it is. Here's her dirt, her hurricane kick. So now let's just apply the very same principle of the Shoryuken. Let's go to its move file, self applied forces, and it's apply instead of a Y, we make, we'll make her go upwards and X force. So let's say X force 20. As you can see, she moves just a little bit. Why is this? Because the game has a built in physics uh, system that basically adds friction to the floor so as you uh, as you remember when you make a sure you can move you have to cancel the move of landing in this case we can ignore uh, the friction of the floor and now she moves while making her move as there is no friction the uh, speed can be very strong so all we have to do is make it a little lower and now it's more like it you see now she has this nice hurricane kick and her sure you can and both moves basically start at the very same place let's make it a little bit bigger so she has now all her basic moves And even you can play 
a bit with both so for example we can add here, here a bit of y And now she even makes a small jump. So the move now moves forward and a little bit upwards. But in this case I just want the move forward. Alright, so that's everything for this little series about the basic moves of a shorter character. You can basically make all kind of moves uh, using these principles and changing some of its uh, values just a little bit and I hope you find this useful and I see you in the next tutorial. Thanks!